Yo, this is Hitano Plays, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And a bit back and forth, we've finally gotten the things we need. Now we have the key we need to open up the uh, room where we can find the main weapon for this dungeon. What is the weapon, you may ask? Well, let's find out, shall we? Alright, we can't. This is not the right way to go. We need to go to the other way. That's the best way to go. So let's see. We go to the right here, push down this block. Straight ahead. This is where we got a small key. I thought this was the map, I forgot about that. Don't worry about these things here, just kill this one. And then get ready to run. First thing you do, grab one of these and throw it away. And charge. Or get yourself killed like that. If you get killed, don't worry, just go out and in again. Grab one of these and bring it with you. And toss it. And you're through. Now we can open this one. This is where we want to go. This place is dark, so be careful. We also have these uh, little dinosaurs that like to breathe fire. Remember these from the Tower of Hera. So you can see the fireballs, but you can't see them. We get a lot of bombs, which is very useful because we need to get uh, the weapon from there. Kill them like that in case you're a bit afraid of them. Watch out for the fire. The chest here as well. With a small key. We need this key, so make sure you keep it. And here is our rendezvous point. There's a bomb here. And the door opens. A path opens even. And here we have it. The main attraction for the Pell Darkness is. The magic hammer. You can drag the wooden sticks down into the ground. You can use it to pound other things too. Nice. You remember the things we saw at the um, at the where the bridge were in the light world, which is now some other things sticking up. Now with the magic hammer, you can finally explore a lot more places in the dark world. So that's gonna be nice. But we have to finish our stuff here before we even go there. Let's go up here. Kill this thing that breathes fire. To our right. We can't go from this place, we have to go to our right here again. Now these things here we couldn't kill before, right? Now you can. Just smash them. Flip them. Be careful, because if you flip them twice, they get a speed increase. So make sure you hit them. Because if you miss, they'll flip over and they'll become pissed. And they'll try to kill you. Well, they always try to kill you. We get the point. Let's put this thing away. And down here again. We need to be able to go up from here. Do we have to go through this? I guess we have. They're dodging the boomerang completely. Can they dodge the ice rod though? They do. How about the bow and arrow though? Yeah, they completely dodge it. I guess they, they actually don't they like to dodge it, but probably because they're on a different floor than you. So let's just get them from this one and then we go down here. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That was a, almost a perfect one, but we got bounced away. That's a bit sad, but at least we got rid of the red one, though. That one is the most annoying one. There we go. A bit low on health, in my opinion, but we do have fairies with us. Let's just turn this one blue again, so we can go to the other side. So now we go back here again. This is the place we're gonna go to after you gotten the magic hammer. That's why I went here last time, and I just went away. Because we're not supposed to be here before we had the magic hammer. And the one small key. Because if you don't have that, you need to turn back. You open up this door, and we can continue. I have these again. Same procedure as last time. Just go away from them and make sure you kill them. A 
Let's see. Hold on. That's the wrong one. There we go. Sometimes it can be annoying to remember which direction you go, but you always go the opposite direction of where you go. Turn this thing here, and watch out. Remember this thing here? From the Desert Palace? That's right. Arrow in his eye. The path opens up. The wall cracks. Getting a new pathway for us to go and take. How much more is it though? There we go. You can go downstairs. Bring up your hammer again. Because here's these things. So if you just pound them, you can go through. Let's keep both of them. This one's a bit annoying though, because you see there's this orange one and the blue one here. So you can't go across, can you? Well, you can. Just use the bow and arrow. Or a bomb. Or even the boomerang if you have the upgraded one. Across from here, let's bring out the hammer again. There we go. Let's go down here. Not certain about if you're able to kill them or not, just try to try to dodge them. Let's see, shoving anything else to light up this path there? Anything getting it from it? No, it's just to see better. But here we have one of those ports. Go, let's see, doing the hammer again. And then, now we're here! Yeah! Ouch. Oh, come on! I hit it! Oh, well, it doesn't matter, though. So now we're ready to step forward to meet the boss of this lair. Hope you guys are ready, because I am certainly so. Get your hammer out, it's gonna be the first, because you will need it. I mean, come on, most of the bosses in these games... The main weapon you get from the dungeon is also what's going to be the main key to victory. Once you're at least, go forward, enter the big door, and enter the first of the many big bosses in the Dark World. Introducing the Helmstar King. Stick your hammer and crack open its headpiece. Watch out. You can also spit some fire. More than almost down. That's, that's too bad. Just when it's uh, swinging its tail. And I'm down. But don't worry. I have fairies. Bring always fairies with you. Because if you go down, they'll restore a lot of health for you. The only way the crack also opened up the shell, it's actually used bombs. And now, it's opened up. Now there's two ways to, to do damage to him in his main eye in the center. Either swing your sword, or use the bone arrow. Careful these things. Stay on the side. In my opinion, use the bone arrow. Try to stay from the side. Don't stay away from the side though, because... This guy hurts, as you can see. It's a bit hard to our first boss, but at least I have a good, good amount of fairies with me. But it's possible to kill this boss without taking damage, but um, I'm not saying I'm the most skilled Zelda guy, so... I'll dodge these fireballs, just stay be beneath him so you don't get hit by the tail. Hit him with as many arrows as you can, because that's the easiest one I've been planning to do. But Hit him with the sword if you want to, but you don't need to. Eventually he falls down. New heart container. And the first crystal. 
Phew, this boss was a bit tougher than I thought, but hey, this boss is more about, you know, killing fast before you get kills. The other bosses are much easier to dodge than this one, so... Hey, that was the first dungeon of the Dark World. The first curse is open, and the first of the Seven Maidens has been rescued. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But, because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between the worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I'll tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you'll destroy Ganon. I'll return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yep. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. So, there we go. In order to stop Ganon, we need to get power. So Ganon is hiding somewhere, but the place is locked behind a lot of power. But if the Simmons come together, they can break the seal and we can get to fight Ganon and kill him and restore place and restore peace to this world. Now where are the other girls? Easy. Look now. BAM! Suddenly we see where they all are. There's a mark with some numbers as well. It sort of signifies where you should go next. So this is where we heard this with the first one. The second one is located down here. The third one is all the way up here. Fourth one, just down in the old Kakariko village. A fifth one is in the Ice Palace, which is actually a bit wrong. The order is actually that not uh, correct. It just says 6 here and 5 there, but the order is actually this is number 5, and over here is number 6. I don't know why, but technically the order adds the order. But at the same time, though, the game has made it so they don't need to go through uh, them in all correct order. And in the end, the seventh one, Turtle Rock, up here. So, now we know where to go, we're supposed to go down here, for our next one. We don't need to do it either, because, actually, in, um, in the latest link to the past, we can actually do the second, the third, and the fourth in any order you want. Then you can do either the fifth and the sixth in any order you want, and then finally you can do the seventh in the end. But you have to do the order... One first, then two, three, or four, then five or six, and then finally seven, and then we're gonna go and fight Ganon. So you can see we have a lot of stuff to do, we have at least six more dungeons to do. But now at least we got ourselves a, a new heart container, we have gotten the first maiden rescued, and we got ourselves a new weapon in the hammer. The hammer is very good, but it's very short range, so we don't really try to use it against other enemies. It's pretty powerful though, but nah, not really worth it to use other enemies. So that was pretty cool though. And with the hammer we also open up a lot more possibilities to explore the dark world, which is very nice. We'll spend more time in the next episode to explore. And getting some new stuff, some new heart containers for example. And maybe some other optional items as well. We have one more bottle to get, but we can't get a bottle before uh, in a while because they, uh, they need another special item from one of the dungeons before we can get there, so... You have to have some patience. Ooh, watch out for that snapdragon there. That snapdragon hurts. You got some fair though, it's pretty cool. So if you go down here. And these things here, which is the uh, soldiers, the new version. See? We couldn't go ahead before, right? But now, we can. 
Smash him open. He can go past. The bomb shop is here. That's right, Link's new home is now a bomb shop. This is Link's home. Dark World. Become a bomb shop. 100 pins for 30 bombs. Nah, not really. But you should come back to him afterwards, though, because he actually does increase his uh, his available items for sale later on. And one of the items he's gonna sell you is one of the most important items in this game, in my opinion. Especially for optional items. Because you can get some insane gear for that bomb he gets. Because that bomb can open up some very special place, which will allow you to get a lot of cool items. That's gonna be nice. Anyway, that's going to be another this episode. Next episode, we're going to head down to the second dungeon. But before that, we're going to do some more exploring, getting some more pieces of hearts. Let's bring more of the Dark World and see what it has to offer us. And then we're going to go for the second dungeon at the south, where the uh, water thing were. Question, what does this place have to offer us this time around? And what more will the Maidens tell us about the past? Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media and ask me for now. See you guys next time as my journey. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past continues.